Hello, hello, my, my viewers. Welcome to, the un to another episode of The Unspoken. I'm your host, Princess Beth. And today we're having a different program. Um, as you can see, I'm all alone here. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karibu sana, everyone that is tuning in our station today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my viewers. Today, almost, I want to thank the Almighty God for bringing us this far and for enabling us to be here today in the unspoken in ETV. I also thank my spiritual father, Apostle Sami Kairu, who is the founder of CCF Church and the founder of ETV Kenya. Thank you so much, Daddy, for giving me this chance to be the host of this show here today. Welcome so much, viewers. You can invite someone else. You can keep sharing. Uh, this program for people to come in today for today we're going to learn a very very interesting story we're going to learn not a story we are, we're going to learn a very interesting uh topic huh? yeah and you shall be blessed and you shall get more information that maybe you knew or you did not know um before we start uh, i've been hosting people here who've been sharing their own stories but i've never shared my own Yes, uh, I won't share it today, maybe some other day, but I just give you a hiccup of who I am. Uh, my real name is Beth Mukabi Wanjiku. Yeah, I'm a born again Christian in the fellowship in this CCF church under Apostle Sami Kairu. Um, uh, I'm a psychologist by profession. Yeah, I studied psychology in Kenyatta University. Yeah, and uh, this far, I thank God. I was brought up in a Christian background, and uh, both my parents are, are alive. Uh, thank you so much, my dad and mom, for bringing me up, for educating me to this level, and uh, for making me be the person that I am today. Um, uh, I have so much about myself. Yeah, one day I'll share it with you viewers. Yeah, I'll tell you. Vile ni mekuwa ni kipewa ma my expansion, my suspension when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah, but at least I managed to finish school and be um, successful in terms of that line. Yeah? Um, thank you. So, uh, after I finished my Form 4 exam, let me start by briefing you something little so that we may understand today's topic. After I finished my Form 4 exams, after I passed so well, uh, I passed well, yeah? I got a chance to be in one of the um, public universities in Kenya, Kenyatta University. Uh, I, didn't I didn't know what I wanted to be. I didn't know what I wanted to be in life. And so, nilichukua na chagua tu cause, I mean, anything that nilikuwa naona inaingiana na my cluster points, that is what I chose. And I, I got a chance to be in KU. And uh, in first year, I used to study economics, mathematics, and sociology. Yeah, niko first year, but I still don't know who I am. I still don't know what I want to do. I still don't know what I want to become, you know. And nilimaliza uh, form four a bit old. Ju nilimaliza form four when I was the age of, was it 1920? Um, 2013. Yeah, I think I was 19 years or 20 years. Eh, but at that time, bado sikuwa na jua kile nilikuwa nataka kukuwa. So I did mathematics. I was good in mathematics in high school. And so I thought it's the same mathematics ni nakuja kupata university. Oh my God. Sh I, I got a shock. <laughs> yeah, so I did it in my first year and my second year. And I dropped it. I dropped mathematics uh, when I was in second year. Yeah, the course that I was doing, you could, you were not, you, you could not move on with three units, uh, with three departments, three departments, and so I had to drop one to continue with the rest. So after first, when I was in first year, I never did psychology. But after I finished uh, my first year, after the second semester, I realized that I, I, I really wanted to do psychology. Okay, initially, I wanted to do it, uh, but uh, the person who advised me uh, she told me that, oh, psychology ni ama antichrist, oh, psychology ni watu wenye hoa believe in God, they believe in, you know, science so much. And so, because I was a Christian, I didn't kasema kama ni story against God, I won't do it. 
but sasa after nimeona watu wamefanya ni realize it's not that i dropped sociology that year and then i started over psychology when i was in second year then nilienda nikikaba up the first year units and uh, nikaendelea nayo so i knew who i wanted to become when i was in third year niko university first year nimemaliza second year nimemaliza i still don't know what i mean me niko tu hapo kusoma i get my degree certificate i graduate that's it you know in a, in a in a society when you have that you know people tend to see you as a successful person which it's not the case maybe yeah so um when you look at that year that is when i knew what i wanted to become and so i took psychology as a major thing you know i got so much interested in it to learn children to, la- to learn about children memory to learn about human memory so many things abnormal psychology abnormal psychology was my best subject yeah and uh, in that class i got to realize that everyone is abnormal you know uh, i think it's a notion yenye watu wanasemanga huku nje huko kila mtu anakuanga mwenda wazimu ina depend to na level i thought it was just a say but i came to realize that, that that is the case everyone is abnormal in his or her own level na kila abnormality iko na jina yake ni vile yangu na ya huyo mwenda wazimu wa barabara mwenye wanaitanga mwenda wazimu it's quite different yeah uh, so that is when i uh, uh, i got interested to 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 pursue that and i realized psychology is uh, it's more of a, it, it, it's 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 a course that when you do it you become uh, you become of benefit to the society because it helps you shape your behavior it helps you shape other people's behavior it helps you understand who you are what you want to be where you going you know uh, so um i got so much interested in it and i said uh nikimaliza shule i will i sijawahi tupa vitabu zangu ever since first year as a psychology nilitupa za economics nikatupa za mathematics but i kept my psychology books because i realized this is a, a real life thing you know this is something yenye ninaweza taka kutumia when i'll be bringing my own children up when i'll be talking to people outside there yeah so uh, and i said one day nikimaliza when i when i get a chance to speak to people outside there about uh, some basic things in life we know or maybe we don't know we do not know or maybe we eat off and uh, i'll speak especially uh, i got so much interested in child psychology you know? um and i realized the person that i am right now it totally depends on how i was brought up between the age of 0 to 5 years the age of zero is um that time the first day that you, you 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 stepped out of your mother's womb you know the first day that you came into earth um so the person that i am right now it depends with how i was brought up with my parents or the society or anyone around me at that age of 0 to 5 years you might find so many people outside there um you you get to wonder hey why is this kind of a boy and a behaving hivi you know he or she is a teenager unaanza kusema hey mtoto wa mama fulani anakuwa tabia mbaya mshoma fulani anapenda hey mshoma fulani anapenda ni mbaya oh you, you, you even tend to tell your your own children to avoid that person but i came to realize it is not that person's mistake it is not her mistake it is the mistake of her upbringing between the age of 0 to 5 years you see like um uh, when a child is is born between the age of 0 to 1 years this child uh mostly depend on kunyonyeshwa you know oral it's it, it, she feeds um on oral 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 foods mostly juu ya kunyonyesha and all that and i came to realize when a young child uh, mtoto akikosa kunyonyeshwa vile anafaa kunyonyeshwa akikosa that um that motherly feeding orally at that age uh, this child will grow up to be a person that is he or she will never be satisfied of anything anything that she gets aita wai mtosheleza reason because at that age when she was supposed to be satisfied uh, ali miss unasikianga uh, um ukikosa kucheza ukiwa mdogo utacheza ukiwa mkubwa that one is totally true by the way, I, i used to think that this is just the society's notion but when i got to a chance to study psychology i realized that is so true whatever you missed while you were young you will look for it 
when you get old. So this child, mwenye alikosa kunyonyosha venye inafaa kukua, mwenye alikuwa anatamani, anataka matiti lakini hapati, ata grow up akiwa mtoto mwenye shio, he will never get satisfied of anything. And you can, I know there, there, there are such people in the society, ule mtu mwenye, ata kitu yenye tuwa napata, ajai kuwa satisfied. Anatamani ya wengine, uh, uh, one other thing that such a child anakuanga nayo is that she she is so much selfish. Yani, anakuanga ule mtoto mchoyo. So, ukina mtu mchoyo, don't blame he or her. Amekua mchoyo because of this is something that she learned at that young age. She was to, to, to get it. At that time, she didn't get it. And so, mtu mchoyo, like, um, uh, yeah, because she was never that age uh, so never blame a person never blame a person for sh for who or sh or for who he or she is because it is not our problem it is the problem of our bringing and so today um uh, i really want to talk to people outside there i really want to talk to parents more so and even if you're not a parent at one point you'll be a parent or maybe if you won't be a parent you will take care of someone's child in a society or anywhere yeah, so uh, this topic of punishment and reinforcement, it is a very crucial topic today. And uh, I'm hoping you'll get to learn so much things in it. And uh, I chose this topic because at this, at this point of life, you see like the whole of this year, Tango Corona Yanze, when our children were at home, they've been at home for so long, and uh, we've seen cases in the television that so many kids have been pregnant, so many teenagers have been pregnant. Each and every day, unaona kwa news, oh, county flani, leo, such number of people, such number of children, they are pregnant. So, um, children, oh, children, children, um, Wame, wame potoka sana in such an arena and especially this year or this time. And I felt like I should uh, educate parents outside there. I should educate people out there on how to bring up these children to a point that wakifika at that teenage stage, they won't mess up their life. Let me give you another example. Uh, not, not really an example, a fact. When a child is at the age of between to five years, three years to five years, if she is a female child, uh, this child really needs that attachment of a, of a father, you know, a fatherly love. If she is a child, she's a, she, she's a, she's a, I mean, she's a female, she's a girl, she really needs that attachment of a boy. And that boy at that time is the father, the, 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 oppos the opposite sex attachment. And if the child is a boy, and I tell you that attachment of a, a mother, an opposite sex attachment. When this child gets to pass through three years, four years, and five years, akiwa na iyo attachment, motherly love, you know, unapsikianga watoto wasichana ni wababa, watoto wablana ni wamama, that, it's, chapo, it's supposed to be that way during that age. When this child loses that at that age, maybe a girl, I'm a cause of that attachment of a father. When this child at Africa, that teenage level, because I lack that attachment of an opposite sex creature, I mean, person, not creature, person, I lose that, that, nini, that, um, that love of an opposite sex person. So, Akifika teenager, atakuwa na yota maya to get love, you know, from, a, from an opposite sex person. And in this case, because she's a teenager, would you at after the, the boyfriend, you know, the age mates, yeah, see baba yake at after. At that young age, you know, a, a father is if I to kitu in most cases. So, as you bring up your child, you should be very careful uh, never to, 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 to miss out some things. And I can also advise parents outside there to even seek counseling when bringing up our children. Let us not bring up our children the way our parents brought us up in, a, in, a, in an African way, you know, what to in your own knowledge. Uh, this is something that you, you, you've never known. Ujawai lea before, ujawai lea ukiwa mtoto. It is your first time kulea. And so you should seek counseling 
professional counseling to get to know how to bring up your own child kwa sababu usipom bring up vile inafaa at that teenage age this child anaenda kupotoka and so today i chose this topic of punishment and, and reinforcement to help you uh, know the ways of even correcting your children this also makes a lot of children to 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 go astray you know what to wengi sana wamepotoka because of unapata mtoto alichapo nyumbani akatoroka na hivyo ndio venye alienda akaachana na shule because you know because uh, parents uh, we do punish our children maybe in a, in a way that is not supposed to because we are africans na tumelelewa tukijua watoto mtoto ni kiboko mtoto ni kiboko so you tend to any any little mistake you be that child any little mistake you be that child thinking that you are you are you are making him to be a better person only to find out that you're spoiling that child more and more and more by punishing that child in a wrong way so um today i chose this topic and maybe i should dis- define and i should distinguish this term for you to to get to understand punishment this is the imposition of a penalty for a wrong doing the imposition of a penalty you know a penalty is never something good eh? for, for for a wrong doing reinforcement on the other hand this is anything this the, um anything that increases the probability of a behavior to occur Reinforcement is anything that increases the probability of a behavior to occur. Let me give you an example. For instance, you want your child to do well in school. Maybe this child is doing well in school, so you want to make her or him continue doing well in school. The first time she comes home with uh, 350 marks out of 500 marks, she has done well. The second time she comes home with 340 marks out of 500 she has slightly dropped but she has not done bad eh? so anything that increases the probability of a behavior that thing that will make that child continue doing well in school is what is called reinforcement let me ask this child i'm a part of 350 in the first term and the second term this child got 340 marks you beat that child because of dropping down slightly with 10 marks w- do you think this child will do well next time do you think your kiboko umemchapa will make that child improve or not drop next next time we're going to know we're going to learn about that thank you so much for them that are watching me harriet harry thank you for watching pretty she karanja is watching thank you so much njorom moja wow nice can anyone study psychology of course yeah psychology is a very very interesting uh, course that i can encourage everyone to do that yeah pastor peter james thank you for tuning in martin pastor martin praise following from mogadishu road thank you so much pasi bernard moash very nice topic not something you can easily hear in church yeah that is true Uh, following uh, Kimadhi Kirimi loving the show helps understand people rather than cha- judge sorry mc chacha says tuned in yeah thank you so much my viewers so those are the distinction of uh, reinforcement and punishment so reinforcement means you are increasing a behavior you know you want to increase someone's behavior you want to to increase this person's behavior you know and you want to increase of course a good behavior and punishment it means you want to decrease a behavior i still dwell on this example of this child in the first time i'm at 315 marks and in the second time she got 140 marks so that um if you want to to decrease that behavior of going down uh, we call that punishment and if you want to increase the behavior of this child improving in class we call that reinforcement and reinforcement and viewers if you have any question if there's anything you're not understanding as you as you're moving on uh, please ask your questions i'm here to answer and so reinforcement there, there are two types of re- reinforcement positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement and there are also two types of punishment a 
positive punishment and a negative punishment. Mark you, when I use the word positive and negative, it doesn't mean negative is bad behavior or positive is a good behavior. We'll get to learn more as we continue. So positive re reinforcement, this is when adding something pleasant to increase, to increase the likelihood of a behavior. Adding something pleasant, you know, something good. If you want this person to increase the behavior that she or he has, uh, you, you add something. By that, you will have reinforced that person positively. Let me give you an example. A child, a child comes home with 350 marks in the first term, and then in the second term, she comes home with 380 marks. That slight improvement, you give him or her a token, or you give him a reward, you know, you can buy him or her something that she has been desiring. That one, by doing that to that child, you have reinforced her positively. Hope you're getting that. Um, uh, and this one will encourage that child to continue doing well because she's known that when you do well, when she does well, she's going to get a reward. So anytime she, she, she goes to class, anytime she studies, atakuwa anajua, hey, wata nisome kabisa juniki pita, this term, nimeambo nisanuliwa by skilly. So she will work extra hard uh, to earn that reward that you promised her. That one is called positive reinforcement. Uh, let's go to the second type of reinforcement is negative rein reinforcement. This is re removing an unpleasant thing to increase a behavior. Something unpleasant is not something good. No, you, want, you, you remove it to do what? To increase a behavior. Let me give you an example of a real life situation. And when I talk of punishment and reinforcement here, I'm not talking ab about children alone, you know, even in a workplace, even in your own life. You no, know, these, are, these are just ways of, uh, of modifying our behaviors, of making our behaviors come good. So an example of a negative reinforcement, a real life example is you are in a car, you're seated in front, uh, uh, then that beep, beep sound of a safety belt until the time when you have a safety belt that is when that sound you know that, that sound is never good you know it's not pleasant it, it irritates so you end up wearing that safety belt to to remove that an unpleasant unpleasant sound that is there that one is called negative reinforcement. This is removing an unpleasant something to increase a behavior. So removing this, you're eliminating this unpleasant beep, beep sound uh, to increase a behavior. We, what is the behavior here? You know, wearing a safety belt is, uh, that one is something that you're supposed to, to, to do. So uh, by doing that, you will have reinforced yourself negatively. Um... Another example of a negative enforcement, when a child does poorly in class, the teacher keeps on yelling at that student. You know, this child, uh, this example, uh, we, we're going to look at it in two ways. One, this child, not even a child, even you as a human being, because you don't want that, you will do something good to eliminate that I don't know if you're getting me. Uh, and today, audience, viewers, we, we also have audience. I also have audience here with me, and we shall be asking questions. Mkabi says, get loud and clear from Kariobangi South. Um, so that's remote pleasant thing, you know, nagging voice of that teacher kushinda mekwambia mbia wacha 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 so you will end up stopping that bad behavior that you have kwa sababu tu utaki yoke lele you get like umetoa yo you want to eliminate you want to eliminate that kelele of a teacher so you, I'm, I hope you're getting me yeah, so uh, let me give you one more example of a negative uh, reinforcement for instance your child, you have a house help, but you keep on giving your child a punishment of helping the house, helping maybe mopping the house when she does a mistake. Uh, and then 
this child alimekuwa akifanya mistake and then one day ame improve ameacha kufanya hizo mistakes zenye amekuwa anga akifanya and because ulikuwa umempeanga punishment kitambo ya ni wewe utakuwa unaosha biombo hadi siku ile utachange so aki change unamwambia now from today hautakuwa unaosha biombo you will be sitting down because you have changed this one it modifies that child's behavior ne, as in you, you've you've modified that behavior using a negative um by the act of removing that task from impair negative negative is removing you know and positive is adding a negative you know a negative sign it's you are subtracting so you are subtracting that punishment that nagging thing from that child and you'll come impair so by removing that task from that child you have negatively reinforced that child na kwa sababu wataki kushinda you know that kuoshaosha biombo and maybe this this is a child boy ametoka in a posh family you know ataki hiyo story ya kuoshaosha biombo and or doing some other things some other house chores to her or to him inam inamkera tu but kwa sababu atakuwa anajua akifanya makosa atarudishwa you will have modified this child behavior in that she won't repeat that mistake ndio asipewe hiyo kazi ya tena i'm hoping you're getting me viewers um we're going to punishment now there are also two types of punishment one is positive punishment and two is negative punishment like i said positive if you want to understand just take it from a, a, a normal mathematics positive is to add negative is to subtract positive punishment this is adding something unpleasant to decrease the life of a behavior viewers today our aim is uh, to modify some someone's behavior to be a good behavior from a bad behavior to a good behavior so when you choose to use punishment as a way of modifying that person's behavior and maybe you choose a positive punishment this mean you adding something unpleasant to decrease the likelihood of a behavior um let me give you an example beating up a child is one example of 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 a positive punishment a child comes home late unamchapa a child fails his or her exam unamchapa let me use the example of of, of an african school mashule zenye tulisoma wenye wanakuanga namba last wakishasomwa wanaenda wanachapwa wakishasomwa unaenda unachapwa that's an example of a positive punishment that one is so direct i hope we understanding that one uh -huh. negative punishment i can see a question here already thank you um negative punishment Mm -hmm. Sorry for these technical errors but they're working on it. I'm hoping you're getting something viewers. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for making my microphone. I appreciate. I uh, negative punishment. Let me read this before uh, I I go to your question Bernard. Negative punishment. This is taking away something pleasant to decrease the likelihood of a behavior taking away something pleasant to decrease the likelihood of a behavior uh, let me first give a clear uh, distinction between uh, between reinforcement and punishment punishment is uh, punishment uh, it means you are decreasing a behavior you know you are decreasing a behavior and reinforcement it means you are increasing a behavior and we've said positive punishment is that one like uh, beating up a child you know you've you've added that pain in that child to decrease the bad behavior that he or she has and now negative punishment is decreasing taking away something pleasant you know something that this child loves this person loves to decrease again the likelihood of a behavior so we are decreasing a behavior we are decreasing a behavior in reinforcement you are increasing a behavior so you reward this child to to make her continue doing well to to increase that behavior so a negative punishment an example of a negative punishment taking away something and and something pleasant to decrease the likelihood of a behavior maybe you have a child 
and especially in this generation um, so many of us so many of the children today unapata mtoto ako na simu as early as uh, the age of 10 ako na ako na smartphone um, uh, and so this child keeps on coming home late each and every day anakuja late each and every day anakuja late uh, let me just use the example of a teenager because this is prone to be done by so many teenagers yeah, so um, this child comes home late every day and she has a phone you give her a phone so to, you, you, the bad behavior that you want to modify here is that behavior of coming home late kila siku anakuza home late you want her to be coming home early so that is the behavior that you want to eliminate from this child eh? so you're going to use a negative punishment how will you do this you take away the phone by taking away the phone you have taken away a pleasant thing from this child and uh, because this is something that she loves so much you know she cannot do without it oh how will i be communicating with my with my peers you know i don't have a phone you know so she really wants this thing you know it it, it really helps him or her in one way or another and so unamnyanganya hiyo phone alafu um unamwambia akianza kurudi home mapema that is when you return back the phone so this child ataacha kukuja home late simply because amenyanganywa simu so you've taken away that as in you punish this child negatively you've punished her negatively i've not said it is bad like i said before negative here doesn't mean something bad and positive here doesn't mean something good so you've taken away that unpleasant thing and uh, so many people confuse between negative punishment and negative reinforcement but when you get to understand that punishment is decreasing a behavior and reinforcement is increasing a behavior you will get to understand this um, another example a real life example uh, a driver is over speeding and then a police anakuja anamnyanganya the driving license one the bad behavior that this policeman wants to modify in this driver is the art of driving fast so an attacker akuwa and a drive within the limit within the speed limit that is the behavior that we are modifying we are modifying here and so the police takes away that um uh, that driving license by doing that this policeman has punished that driver negatively which is also not bad so those are the, the distinctions and so um viewers we're going on a short break and as we shall be coming back oh before that let me read this one question here bernard mwash says baba yangu alikuwa anatunyima chakula tukikosa so is this a punishment or a reinforcement wow i love this question baba yangu alikuwa anatunyima chakula his dad used to make them miss their meals when they do something wrong is this punishment or reinforcement the first thing that you should look here is what behavior was the father trying to modify what behavior was the father trying to change you know if they did something wrong meaning the behavior was wrong and so he wanted them to be doing something right so um, um let's let me define for you a negative punishment and then we'll we'll get to reason together in here taking away something pleasant food here it is something pleasant to decrease the likelihood of a behavior and the behavior here is the bad manners that you people used to have so this one we call it a negative punishment before you get to, to to know to if you want to know if it's a punishment or a or a or a reinforcement you first need to ask your, your, yourself what behavior is that that the father wanted to to eliminate and we get to know here that in this question it is a bad behavior meaning the father wanted that behavior to decrease so if it's decreasing that is a punishment if it's increasing that is reinforcement that is the number one easiest dis distinction 
So if you want a behavior to decrease, you use punishment. If you want a behavior to increase, you use reinforcement. So this behavior, the father wants it to stop, meaning to decrease. So the number one thing, that one is punishment. And so in punishment, we are left with positive and negative. And we said positive is adding something unpleasant, you know, adding something unpleasant. And negative is taking away something pleasant. So food here is something pleasant. By the art of the father taking away that food from them for them to, to, to have good manners, that one is negative re, negative punishment. I hope we, I have answered you Bernard Mwash. Viewers make your questions keep coming. Pastor Peter James says this topic is so great. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going on a short break, a very short break and we will come back and um, when you come back, we shall get to know the advantages of punishment and the disadvantages of both punishment and reinforcement. And you will get to know and uh, understand why uh, or the method that you're supposed to use, whether punishment or reinforcement. Thank you. Stay tuned. Thank you so much viewers for coming back yeah i hope you're learning something and so we are on the advantages and the disadvantages of both punishment and reinforcement uh, both of them have advantages the number one advantage and the number the number one obvious advantage is that in both the undesired behavior is stopped but mm, let me start with punishment. The advantages of, of, of punishment, it stops undesired behavior, but just for some times. You know, um, psychologists uh, encourage people to use reinforcement more than punishment. Because punishment, let me go to the disadvantages of punishment for you to understand what I mean here. It instills fear and not respect. Let's say you're using a positive punishment to this child. Every time your child does wrong, unamchapa. Every time ana 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 anakosa, unamchapa. Every time una unamchapa, unamchapa, unamchapa. You know, this child will end up fearing you. Unona, unapatanga he, mi naogopanga, naogopanga daddy, naogopanga mami, kwa sababu he, kila kila siku nikifanya na nichapa, kila siku nikifanya na nichapa. Your child will grow up to be a very antisocial person kwa sababu ataishi kukuwa na that uoga i hope you're getting me ataishi kukuwa na hiyo uoga it, it doesn't help it doesn't help so much punishing a child all the time it doesn't help you'd rather use an enforcement more than so uh you want this child to respect you but your way of correcting this child is it's wrong it's very wrong so this child uh because every behavior has a consequence even the behavior, the act of you punishing that child is a behavior. So the, there are consequences of that. And there are also consequences of reinforcement. But now of punishment, this child atakuogopa. Atakuogopa na hata hai kuambia kitu. Unapatanga tu mshu wako, unasikia huko inje, sijua ilifanya nini, hauku jua. Your child ame grow up, mungu ame msaidia. Maybe she's even someone great, ame, ame pata kazi kubwa, but you will never know. Kwa sababu, alishi kukuogopa. Ajuta respond aje. Ulishi tu kumpanish. Anything small, kumpanish. Anything small, kumpanish. And so it brings fear. It makes this child kukuwa na fear. Um, which is not good. Another thing, another, another disadvantage of using punishment is that it causes aggressiveness. By you keeping on scolding this child, beating up this child all the time, uh, you've shown this child that life is all about pain, pain, pain. Because there's no punishment in your inango chungu. And especially now if it's a physical punishment, you know the positive ones. Akuna in your pain. So this child will grow up knowing that life is all about pain. So, he has hata mind kuchapanga wa wengine. After all, si hata ya chapangwa. Ujaisikia mungine ya kisema like kwani wendi ya wakwanza. Sieta situlipitia hiyo. 
kwa ni wendi wa kwanza that thing of kwa ni wendi wa kwanza it's because of this art of punishment the way we african parents uh, use to correct their parents it makes your child be aggressive be aggressive kabisa yeye alishajua maisha ni uchungu so hata yeye kuonyesha watu wengine uchungu it's not a big deal to that person it's not and it's not and it's not and so uh, it is so much discouraging especially in the in this in these white countries in the developing countries in the US and that is why you find such schools you know in US a child is valued more than anything else now kisikika umechapa i've never been there you know but uh, through studies and getting more information about there i get to hear that and uh, even in the international the international schools are here in Kenya a child is not supposed to be punished mwalimu akipunish mtoto hiyo ni hiyo ni kazi amepoteza so they really value that because they know the value of the harm it brings to this child more than this child decreasing that behavior you'd rather use a reinforcement method rather than a punishment method i don't know if you've ever, you've ever asked yourself mbona those white countries akonanga mtoto kuchapwa even you as a parent unashikwa ukisikika umechapa mtoto wako it's because they've studied that and they, they they know the benefits they know the the disadvantages of that and so they cannot risk and i would also uh, discourage that um uh, it's not bad to punish but use it it depends on how you use it not all the time some other time use reinforcement and you will find that reinforcement works better than punishment you see that ataacha ku ata stop unamchapa juu amefanya kitu fulani ata stop to for a while ukishatoka atarudi kwa that mistake let me use this example again in in our schools watoto wenye walikuwa wana fail kila siku wanachapwa kila siku wanachapwa waki fail wanachapwa una find wenye wanakuanga number last kutoka form 1 ndio wenye bado wanakuanga number last hadi form 4 and after every exam walichukua wanachapangwa tu wanachapangwa tu wanachapangwa tu kama hii kuchapa ingekuwa inasaidia huyo mtoto kupita angefika form 4 kama bado wanachapwa kama bado wame fail it doesn't help at all it doesn't help at all you'd rather use reinforcement this one will encourage this child you know you want to increase the behavior of um uh, him or her doing well so you'd rather use that one other than punishing that child so it only stops for some times and the next times the next time the, 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 the person is in the same mistake and so why am i saying that we should use reinforcement there are so many advantages of using reinforcement one it motivates one to work hard for instance when a teacher uses positive reinforcement any time watoto wanafanya exam anawapea zawadi wenye wamepita wenye wamepita anawapea zawadi wenye wamepita anawapea zawadi ana hata concentrate kwa wenye wamefail siju kuwachapa but wale wenye wanapita anawapea zawadi these other students who don't do well in their exams it will motivate them to work hard at least at our one day they get to be rewarded that token yenye watu wengine pia wanapatanga even si lazima ta equation even in our workplaces you find that there are people who work so hard there are people who work so hard and you find that the boss always um and ana ana i want our compliment you know reinforcement it's not all about zawadi to zawadi you know even congratulating someone wow you did well that one is that one is, is it's also a positive reinforcement you know you've added something good to to that person you know it feels so nice when you told that hey you are doing good congratulation it feels so nice and it it feels so nice even more than you can be given something yeah you can never forget that one um so it motivates one to work hard but hii ngine akipanishiwa atakuwa tu anaogopa atakuwa tu anaogopa you find that akona kitu ume solve the number two advantage is it increases confidence and ability huyo mtoto mwenye amepewa hizo awardi because of doing well this worker who has been amekuwa ame, amekuwa recognized because of his or her good work or even maybe ameongezewa salary because he's doing a good work it makes him or her kukuwa na that confidence of doing good ataishi ku, ku, kufanya kazi poa ndio asi maybe asirudishiwe asi asitolewe hiyo salary ama asikose ku congratulatewa again so ndio aendelee ku congratulatewa it will make him be confident as in itampa your confidence ya kuendelea kufanya kitu mzuri the number three advantage of reinforcement is it help minimize a negative behavior it helps minimize a negative 
behavior. For instance, you have two children in your house. Mother, um, she, she or he is so respectful. Haruka rukage kwa viti. And the other one, Eva, yendi anachafua nyumba. Eva, yendi anapigana. And, uh, and all that. So anytime you give this one child, uh, mwenye anafanyanga vizuri, you give him a token. Namu unasema, ah, kwangu. Beth, tundi anakuanga mtuto mzuri. Lakini yao wengine. So these other ones, what I feel we buy, mbona tu uyu pekendi ya na congratulate wanga. So it will make them, it will, it will make them kukua na that, that ajia, pia wa kufanyanga vizuri, kuwacha the bad behavior that they have, diwa pia wakua recognize. So it will minimize the bad behaviors that they have for them to be recognized as good boys, good girls. The number four advantage is it reaffirms that you care. Anytime you tell your child, oh, you're good, you know, even hugging a child when he or she does well. Una kuto na mhag tu, una fika tuko nyumbo na mhag, umesikia leo, ame mop nyumba, ame clean bedroom yake, ame fanya makazi, you know, that, that, that's something good, you know. So you just come and hug her. You know, this child will, will feel like, oh, my, my parent cares so much about me. You know, that's emotional thing. It, it really feels a lot. It really feels a lot. So it makes this child know that you as a parent, you really care so much about him or her. And also, it improves communication. Because you brought her close. You brought her close. Punishment, it takes you away from that child. It takes you away from that employee, you as a boss. It takes you away from people. Because about what I go up and when people fear you, they will walk away from you. But now reinforcement it brings close. Because about when I'm letter karibu, it improves your communication with that child or with that person that you you, you want to modify his or her behavior. And maybe I should get one or two questions from my, audi my audiences here today. If there is any, yes, you're welcome. Okay, this is my question. Now, because of uh, reinforcement, there's no punishment that is involved. Now, how, how does that apply to those, uh, for example, the students when you go back to our schools, the students who are not, uh, maybe who are not, uh, who are not doing well in the exams, because understand according to our culture, uh, when, a, when a student is not doing good, punishment is always involved. Now, because reinforcement does not apply to punishment, how does it apply? They are not doing good in examination now after now, and it's not enough just to talk with them. Now, how do you handle that? How do you handle the, the ones that are not doing well? Wow, that's a very, very good question. Thank you so much. Um, so, uh, I said reinforcement is you add something, you know, um, uh, you you want to increase a behavior, but uh, you want to increase the behavior. do well. That is your target, right? You want to make this child who is not doing well to start doing well. That is your target, right? So by the art of you always praising the the ones that are doing well, it will make this child that does not do well to to feel the urge of also being appreciated. And there is something that I forgot to say. You're not, you're, not, you're not just supposed to reinforce someone when he or she does well. Even a slight improvement will make this child to, to, feel, to feel like, um, to, to encourage her, you know, kama, kama leo teacher, maybe alikuwa number last the other time. This other exam, amekuwa second last. At least ameshinda one person, right? You, and you, you reinforce this child positively by congratulating her. As much as that zawadi, but just telling people, oh, clap for this student because she or he has improved. By that art, you have reinforced this child positively. And by doing that, it will make this child feeling the urge of doing more well. Do ata yeye akue praised one time. I can also pose this question to you. Um, and thank God you started by saying in our culture, that's the African culture. And, uh, and that is why uh, I, I am encouraging people to seek for counselors, to, 
to if you get a chance even to study psychology it's so good because it gets to eliminate you in so many in so many things um this child when you cane her the first time do you think it will make her do well in her exam the next time okay according to our culture in africa uh -huh. and we also know that mm -hmm. it may not uh, make the student to do good, good. but uh, it uh, will bring some change because mm -hmm. the student will have this fear mm -hmm. that uh, when i fail i will be punished mm -hmm. although it may not work for all students mm -hmm. but at least because it is the one that is applied mm -hmm. in most schools in most schools and it works in african schools and, it works, and you yes. say that it will make this child to fear do you want you as a person you as a parent do you feel well or do you want a ch your child kuishi maisha ya kuogopa Okay. Does it help? You know there are people who can't study out of pressure. Yes. Kuna ule mwenye atakuwa tu anafikiria kusoma anakumbuka tu atafail na atachapwa. Anaogopa na ndiye atafail kabisa. It does work. Punishment do work for some, but it doesn't for most. Let me give you this example. In when I was in high school from form 1 to form 4, there was a there was, there was a, a student I, I won't mention her name. Uh aliishi kukuwa number last. You know number last from First term, yeah, form one, had form four, mwisho, alishi kukuwa number last. And after every exam, tulikuwa tuna, watu likuwa na chapwa. Uki fail, una chapwa. Uki fail, una chapwa. Aka chapwa form one, aka chapwa form two. Punishment ingekuwa ina work. Do you think angekuwa ana fail had form four? It's, it, you know, it is. You know, in our that is the culture. You know, they think that is what we think. That is we, is what we we've, we've been brought up thinking that punishment works. but it doesn't. One day, I took my time to talk to this to, to talk to this girl, at least to get to know why it happens. Kwake too. Akaniambia yata alisha zoya kuchapwa, because kwao wote wanangu kanga, and even the father and the mother told them. Their parents see wale wenye kama wale watu wetu wenye wantuambianga tulikuwa number one. Their parents told them atieta hawa lishi kuanguka in their exams. So this child alijua tu, yani this is something yetu wata iko kwao. You know, so punishment, it never worked for them. It never worked for the parents. It never worked for the children. And that is why I'm discouraging that. Instead of that, uyo mtoto aki improve a slight improvement. Why can't you congratulate her? Why can't you reward her? This one as a human being, when you are congratulated, you feel like you should do more when the congratulate you, right? Uh, I don't know if I've answered your question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our viewers. Our time is far much gone. Let me get one more question here. How can something intended as punishment actually function as reinforcer? Hey, hey, Sijika ni kwa topic. Okay, let me repeat this. How can something intended as punishment actually function as reinforcer maybe you could give me an example of uh, of uh, <laughs> that something intended as a punishment acting as a reinforcer um if i if i've gotten you wrong let me use my own example how, so, how can something instead of intended as punishment act as a, you want to punish this child, but you want to use a reinforcement? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think uh, on that question, mm -hmm. what is trying to, to, to bring forward mm -hmm. is that uh, now this is a parent mm -hmm. who maybe want to punish a child, mm -hmm. but on the same, mm -hmm. he doesn't want, uh, okay, he want to bring it in a way mm -hmm. of reinforcement. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh. intending that uh, it be the punishment. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the question. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, maybe, for example, a child has come home late and you want to punish her. Yes, you want to punish her, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not a mother that used the cane, mm -hmm. but uh, that was the intention. Mm -hmm. Now you use it in another way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You can, uh, you, can, um, you can give this child... Uh, something to do. For instance, instead of caning her, you can tell this child uh, today, from today, you're the one who is going to be doing this work. By telling that child to do that, 
you've reinforced her. You know, you've not. It, it's a punishment. Are you getting it? But it's not. Okay, it will torture her and it will make her to want to do something good. They are talking kwai, kwai, kwai punishment, but it's not in a bad way. For instance, when you are kwako in a pikwangwa five. Iyo five, ndi hata apatika nangi kwa nyumba. And it's a rule. Five, sapa ina five kwa imepikwa. So you give her that task. From today, sapa ni wewe utakuwa unapika. Najua, najua sapa ni rule kupikwa five. That child will do that work. Meaning, atakuwa kwa iyo. Atakuwa umetua that behavior of coming home late. I'm hoping I've answered you. Thank you so much for asking question. Yeah, I'm getting so much questions here. Um... How do you choose the kind of a consequence to attach to a behavior? How do you choose the kind of a consequence to attach to a behavior? Like I said before, every behavior has a consequence, right? So how do you choose the kind of a consequence to attach to a behavior? How do you choose a consequence? Mm -hmm. Oh, you've asked this question several times. Sorry. You choose the type of... Um, the, the, the type of uh, modifying the behavior or enforcement of a, or a punishment, but you don't choose the consequences. Whatever you choose comes with a consequence. If you choose reinforcement, it comes with a consequence. If you choose punishment, it comes with a consequence. I think you didn't get me right here. Um, uh, I'm hoping I've answered you. Njoro says, Ask ya kuna watoto vichwa ngumu sana. How sasa utawafanya nini? Wow, I'm loving this. <laughs> Um, here my time is far much gone. Okay, but I'll answer you in Joro. I'll give an example before I answer you. My class teacher in Form 1 once told us, when you give birth to a child, let me use an example of a boy child, mstuto amefika two years, lakini hakuna siku moja umei mpata ameruka kwa kiti, hakuna siku moja umei mpata amevunja toy, umstuto anakuanga tu mpole, yani, and I behave like a, like a 20 year old and he's a 2 year old. That child is not normal. You know, in our class, Tulishi Kukua, the, the, the notorious class, you know, the bad, the bad people. And uh, because he was an understanding teacher, Genda Staff Room Ambiwe, he used to tell the principal, my children are normal. If they are disturbing, they are normal. A normal child disturbs, you know. And so, at no point will you ever have a child who doesn't disturb. If it happens, take your child to a mental hospital. He or she is not well. And especially at that age of uh, wadogo wadogo. This child is so innocent. Ata akivunja vitu. She, she's so innocent. You know, it's you to train her what is right and what is wrong. Back to your question, Joro. Kuna watoto vichuangumu sana. How sasa utawafanya nini? There's an example I used. You have two children. Moja ni kichwangumu, mwingine si kichwangumu. So, hata ukienda kwa watu, praise this one before the other one. Na useme venye umu mwingine anakuanga mbaya. So, by you praising this one all the time, it will make this child feel like, eh, hey, hata mina ataka kupraise you next time. Oh, wacha hata mipia nianze kufanya vizuri. You come home. Ule mwenye amefanya vizuri, you give him a sweet or you give him something good. You know, something pleasant. And this one mwenye hafanya kitu mzuri, Usimpe. This child atakuwa na that. I told you one of the advantage of reinforcement is that it motivates one to work hard. So it will motivate this kichwangumu child to do something good. And if all of them are vichwangumu, in a case that you have children and all of them are vichwangumu, like ata ujuta reward nani mungine ya sikie vibaya ndi yuepi ya kuwe hivu. Do that to a neighbor's child. Do that to a relative's child. And like I said, reinforcement is not see to kupeana gifts. Even congratulate, congratulate, congratulating words such as eh, mstuwa na nini mzuri. Eh, eh, uyo nikekutana na eh, aki. Ntamfanyia hii. Mstuwa na nini mzuri. So it will make your children to be envious. To be envious. You know, like, <laughs> let me give this example. My younger siblings, I hope you won't crucify me when you, when you, when you, when you listen to this. At one point, they were not helping the house girl doing anything. And so my mom, when she could come home, she could only greet the house girl and not the children. 
she could only congratulate the house girl. Oh, nani, oh, nani, oh, nani. So this thing, it made them feel so bad. Until one point, one day, one of them started crying and crying and crying. And when I went to ask her, she told me, oh, ata mama tuambiangi good night. Anambianga tu njeri. You know, njeri was the house girl. Anambianga tu njeri. Oh, ata tuambiangi bai asubui. Anambianga tu uyu. Yo. So I asked them, what do you think makes mom does that to her and not you? So after I talked to them, ni kanta tu kuwana wana change. Mama kikuja, ni awa na kimbilia kumwekea chai. Ni awa na kimbilia kufanya nini. And I realized this thing worked for them. You know, my mom was trying to praise someone who is not even attached to her in any way. So by that act, it made them to feel jealous and it motivated them positively to do good, to be also reinforced. Are you getting that? Yeah, thank you so much, my audiences. Uh, one last question. Raphael Mula. I'm hoping I've answered you, Njoro. Thank you so much, Angel Kate, for tuning in. Questions well tackled. Thank you. Raphael Mula asks, punishment mostly works for the still growing children to rectify the characters. Otherwise, you fail to rectify Ali when grown up, it's hard. That is very true. I've not say I've not discouraged punishment, but I've encouraged reinforcement more than punishment. Of course, there are situations where punishment it's just a mass, you know, it's only that one that can work. But as I said, it depends on how you use it. Don't use it so often. Today use punishment, tomorrow use reinforcement. This one by this way, this child will grow up to be a very healthy and obedient child. For a teenager, punishment mostly works for the for the for the younger children. You know, mtoto mdogo, you you could try kum kum rectify, I get to know the right and the wrong. But trust you me, for a teenager, it never works. It does for one percent, but for the ninety nine percent of teenagers, it never works. In fact, do in our destroy kapisa. You can imagine beating a fifteen year old child in front of her peers. Hata sim in front of her peers. Hata tutu kumchapa tu kwa nyomba. Oh, mtoto, hey, unajua sasa sa indi ya megro, eh, mama nandichapa aje, eh, haoni venye mini mkubwa, anandichapa aje. It will worsen. Yeni umtu watakuwa mu arrogant, na hata aneza kuchapa wewe. And you find that mm, in, in such cases, enye unapatanga, oh, unasikia mtoto wa fulani, yalichapa mama hake, mtoto, most of them are, wanakuanga teenagers. Ha, utapata watoto wadogo, utapata teenagers. Because the parents used a wrong type of uh, correcting a wrong type of correction to this child. And so it ruins. So if you're not careful on the type of uh, on the type of behavior that you, you're using, on the type of uh, yeah, the reinforcement or the punishment thing, if you're not careful when to use what and at what time and how often, you will end up spoiling your child. You will end up destroying anything. And the one that you thought una correct, utapata tadium correct. I also have a, a, a friend's child, a, a friend's child, Mtoto amesubua, amechapwa, amefungu wadi na polisi. For so many, yani for so many times. But up to date, umshwa jawai change. Because any time, alikuwa na anakosa, anachapwa. And because, unajua, the parent is harsh. The harsh parent. Ulaski yanga, hey, ukikana mama nani? Hey, lazima utakala ini. It doesn't work out. This child, the parent is so harsh. But, yani ule the crookest child in that village compared to the other children when you was you all see were harsh so sometimes harshness doesn't help it's good to talk to your child be a friend to that child and you will be a friend to this child by using the methods such as reinforcement to bring her close you know to bring her close not all the time beating beating and beating thank you so much viewers um one last question and the questions like Coming in, in and in. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm answering the last one. Maybe ne next time we can continue from there. Angel asks, what if she, she or he keeps repeating what you have been forbidding to do? How am I supposed to punish them? A normal child, what if she or he repeats what you have been forbidding to do? How am I supposed to? to punish. You will find that a child who keeps on repeating the mistake that she does, it means the mode of correction that you used before wasn't the right one. 
And like I said, one of the disadvantages of using punishment is that it only stops the behavior for a period of time. Ukitoka ni ivo. Umezawea kumchapa. Ukikuwa atakuwa nafana. Ukikuwa atakuwa nafanya yoke nye utaki afanya. Lakini siku utatoka hivi. After all you're not there. Utamuonea wapi. Utamchapa wapi. And that is why I said punishment should be so minimal when you want to correct your child. Because it, 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 it only works for some times. But reinforcement for a normal child who has conscious, it does work for her. It does work for her. Kabisa, kabisa, kabika, kabisa. So, um, Angel, you can just try and use reinforcement. Maybe you can get to study more about negative and positive reinforcement to get to understand how you're supposed to punish your child, how you're supposed to correct your child. Sorry, not punishing. There are so much. And um, if you want to know more, if you want to know more about this, you can DM me in my account, Princess Beth. Princess Beth, my Facebook account. You can DM me there and I'll get to answer you. I'll get to, to give you some tips of how to do that. Um, hoping there are no other questions, maybe from my audience. Is there anything else? I have a question. Thank you. Now, uh, at what stage, stage of growth should we apply reinforcement and punishment? Because uh, I believe mm -hmm. not all, uh, not at all stage. Yeah, very true. Reinforcement can be applied, and not at all stage mm -hmm. punishment can very be applied. True. Very true. To, to help our viewers, mm -hmm. so at what stage should okay. we apply? Thank you. And the no, thank you, thank you. There's no particular stage, but there are those stages that punishment cannot work, and there are those stages that reinforcement cannot work. Remember, reinforcement also has its own disadvantage. Um, mtoto akizoyanga tu ana akifanya anapewa, akifanya anapewa, akifanya anapewa. Itafika tayi mata kuwa nafanya kama hapewi. You know, it bo, zote zikona advantages and disadvantages. And I advise at a younger stage, at a younger stage, you can use both. You can use reinforcement. You can use punishment. But at that teenage stage, kindly, let us use reinforcement more than punishment. Let, I, I've given you this example. And you can do research in the international schools that are Ujenda USA, but just do research in the international schools that are here in Kenya. A teacher punishing a child, kuchapa tu mtoto hivi, ina, inafanya ana lose job yake. Completely. 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 Because this stage, umshuako high school, this child is a teenager. He needs more of talking rather than kuchapa. Unajua ki mchapa unamoibisha for her peers. But when you get to talk to her, this child will feel like you care. You really love her. That is why you're talking to her because you want the best for her. You know, you want the best for her. Lakini yoko mchapa. So at a teenage stage, that one I would advise youth reinforcement more than punishment. But at, at a young stage, you can use both. It all depends on the circumstances that you're using it and the level. You know, you cannot beat up a child up to, yani, ni mtoto wa two years, lakini untaka umchape kama prisoner. You getting? So these all modes of correction it all depends on how you use them and at what time you use them. And if it's punishing a child, it only works when you, do, when you do that immediately. If it's reinforcing a child, it works when you do that immediately. When a child does well, reinforce her immediately. When he or she does something bad, punish her immediately. It will work more than ukae. Taimata mshu alisha sao alikosa. Ngezata unakuja hapa hivi kumchapa. This child that wanaona mchukia, ju for Christ's sake, tanguyo siku wafanya yu mistake up to now. Maybe he or she has changed for her. I'm hoping I've answered you. Yeah, thank you so much my viewers. My time is far much gone, but I hope you've learned a lot. For more questions, kindly DM me. Princess Beth my, is my Facebook name, is my Facebook account. And if you want direct to, to message me in my WhatsApp, it's 726669 zero eight six you can directly message me there i've been your host i've been your um, your your teacher you know to, for today princess beth until next time bye